thoughts got to go out to them. Yeah, and devastatingly enough, as you're watching that area right now, tornado warning. Part, you know, they had, yeah, they get, in 24 hours, you go from the, the wildfire, the raging wildfire, to a tornado warning for Sevier County. And unfortunately, it has proved to be a deadly night across the deep south here. We were worried about this yesterday. I want to show you the initial tornado reports here, over two dozen. Now, these may... Uh, once the weather service gets out, the number, the exact number, may be uh, trimmed down a little bit here. But the bottom line, unfortunately, at least three fatalities with storms overnight tonight in northeast Alabama. Uh, and we are getting reports out of this northeastern corner of the state that a 24-hour daycare uh, was demolished and several kids in critical conditions. So we will continue to update the, uh, you on that. And our thoughts go out with the uh, folks down in the south here. Here's Gatlinburg. And so they've uh, had some severe weather roll through, and they have another batch down to the southwest. Now, how does this play a role in our forecast? Well, it, uh, we don't really see much rain with this. We mentioned there might be a little quick shower. It's still a possibility. The story for us locally is that we've got this front that's pushing through. So it's 56 in Cincy, 47 in Indianapolis. We've got 30s back to the west of us. I show you that because that's the air that works in here for this time tomorrow morning. State kind of divided right now. We've got 58 in Brookville, 43 in Lafayette. Here in Indy, for the last day of November, we're starting out at 47. The average high is 45. So another day where we are going to be above average. And the breakdown looks like this. Shower chance far east. It's a real slim chance. We are going to get some pockets of sunshine. Daytime highs today uh, are going to occur between about noon and 2 o'clock. That colder air is showing you back to the west of it starts to work in here. And so when you get home from work and school around 4 or 5 p.m. here, we'll be in the middle 40s and we'll continue to see these temperatures fall during the overnight into tomorrow morning. So uh, highs ranging from 47 in Lafayette, rebounding back to 55, almost 60 far eastern Indiana. All of us on Thursday will be in the lower 40s. And along with that, we could have a few snow flurries around. Don't expect a whole lot. It's a little sign that uh, December opens up where it should be, and that's the trend for the future as we go into your weekend here. No major storm systems Thursday or Friday, and even to start out the weekend, but there will be this system that we've been highlighting for several days now that shows up on Sunday. And if you have outdoor plans, right now you want to go for Saturday. Saturday's going to be the day to get outdoors. Sunday looks rather wet, and that rain may... Uh, be with some wintry mix from time to time as well. So that's what's ahead. Get out there and enjoy today. Won't be as warm as yesterday, 61, but still above average at 52.